Hello, I'm Farik, and I wanted to talk to you about good health in these times of the corona crisis. So obviously, due to the lockdown, our immune system lags behind, and our health might suffer under that. And obviously, it's especially important to keep a healthy immune system during the lockdown and because of the danger of infection. So the principles are always the same. Good sleep, food, hygiene, exercise, uh, and they are the basics of a healthy immune system. Staying busy is important for your psyche. A stress-free life, only short bursts of stress are good for you because they keep your blood, uh, uh, blood circulation up and running. Uh, they keep your adrenaline pouring. Uh, but if that occurs too frequently or in the long term, that, that can lead to anxiety and depression. So breathing, posture, and a good social life goes hand in hand with that. Uh, like everything, it's a matter of good habits and of mindfulness. So you have to practice it again and again for it to become second nature. Otherwise, it will be difficult to uh, put into practice. So let me talk a little bit more about exercise today. Any exercise is good for boosting your blood circulation and immune system, but there are certain types of exercises that can be hazardous or counterproductive, actually which is over-exercising, or indeed, uh, some people say long cardios too often are not good for your health. But as always, a variety and a good balance. So a variety of different kinds of exercises is good for you. Intensive exercise um, after warming up. Um, warming up is essential for your joints to uh, absorb moisture and become flexible and for the muscles to uh, you know, uh, be supplied with all, be, be saturated with all the nutrients that they need for a good workout and avoid injury. So also avoid heart problems um, because once you warm up, then your heart, uh, you know, loosens up and it can beat faster without problem. You have to energize and then that increases your motivation as well because if you start very quickly, it can lead to exhaustion and fatigue very quickly as well. So you have to jump start your system like a diesel engine. Sweating is very important, so don't worry about sweating. Breathing is very important, deep and regular breaths. So for your skin to detox, you need, uh, you need to sweat a lot um, and to cool down for, for, for uh, your body to stay cool. But also the breathing uh, goes hand in hand with that um, because it allows you to perform better. So I divide um, uh, exercise into different types. So let me talk about the first type. The first category is consists of jumps, punches, or sprints. On those usually done as intervals because they're too intensive to sustain over a long period. So any kind of jumps, like, you know, squat jumps or burpees, as they're known, punches, punching, um, shadow punching, or box, uh, punching a boxing bag. Sprints, obviously, we know running, fast running, after a warm up, as I said. Um, that's the first category and I would usually do those as intervals so meaning you warm up and then you do a minute of intensive as much as you can easily and then you uh, uh, you calm down and you do a minute of moderate pace or rest and then you do a minute of intensive again a bit more intensive than the first time maybe measure your heartbeat and recommend follow the recommended tables because that there's a recommended table according to your age um, how high your heart is supposed to beat, how fast your heart, uh, heart rate can go. So um, after that, I would then calm down again for a minute and go very intense again for another minute. So I would repeat that five times or seven times, whichever one is com more comfortable for you, and um, then cool down and then you can sustain a long, steady pace if you want to burn additional cal calories. That is one kind of exercise, intervals very good for you because they increase your capacity to exercise and your stamina tremendously and they're also even better than sustained cardio uh, at one speed or one pace. The next category I would, category number two consists of weights, body weight or dynamic exercises. Weights can be barbells, dumbbells or a sack or even um, um, uh, you have other kinds of weights or bands and then you can use them to train different muscle groups, ideally antagonists. So if you're pushing, then you pull in the next exercise. If you lift, pushing up, pull down your whole body weight, for example, uh, uh, you know, um, chin-ups, 
or dynamic exercises, meaning they do that in martial arts, you push with resistance, pull with resistance of your own muscles. Okay, and breathing is very important there as well. Deep breath in before pushing or breathe breath in while pushing and then it's important to breathe in and out in a rhythm with the exercise. So that's the second type. And again, warming up before and afterwards, you can do some additional sustained cardio to burn additional calories, okay? The third category I would place uh, in there, you know, those are long, steady state cardios or exercises and they, they train your endurance and you can do swimming, running, rowing, cycling, any of that at a steady pace over a long period, over half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, some people do two hours. I would recommend that as well. Um, do that at least once a week or twice. Other kinds of intervals consist of ball games or circuits. So you line up different exercises like push-ups, jumps, uh, uh, skipping, different kinds of jumps or poor weight exercises. You don't in do them very intensively, but you do one after the other, one after the other with short breaks in between. Those are circuits. Though those are ball games like basketball, football, any kind of ball game, team sports. That is the third category. Uh, the fourth category, sorry, okay? And in the fifth category, finally, I would place yoga, stretching, flexibility exercises, breathing, meditation, walks, long walks, climbing or hiking. So those are another category. And uh, obviously, you know, complementing all these categories, you need to have an active lifestyle, meaning you don't sit for a long, to, 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 for a long sustained period, more than, an hour or a couple of hours, you stand up in between, you cook, you have conversations, those are another type of activities and you need to mix them into your daily routine. So those different categories that I've mentioned to you, okay, intervals, weights, endurance, uh, circ uh, again intervals which are ball games or circuits and yoga type, those five I would do them at least once a week so you already got five weekdays with exercise. You can Take, take one or the other and add an additional day if you wish, or you can mix them up. You can exercise two days, take one day rest, and then another two days, one day rest, uh, and then one more day or two more days. So you can have a, have a break as well. But during the days of break, don't be entirely uh, lazy, but do some activity like cooking, conversing, or just standing up. Okay, so these are the different kind of exercises. They cover the different varieties you can uh, practice. And they, uh, I want to give you one little hint at the end. Practice the seven S's, which are speed, strength, stamina, skills, sense, steadiness, and stretch. So those seven S's are the principles of good sportsmen and also of someone who wants to become one. And if you've liked this, my books are all on Audible, Kindle, or iTunes, if you type Sharik Ali Khan into Google and then put in science afterwards, you'll find my books as ebooks or audiobooks. Thank you very much. Good luck.